this is our experiment number six or lab number six. So the title of this lab is uh, Creating Drawings from Part in SolidWorks. The objective of this experiment or lab works is to ensure that all students understand the basic drawing of parts in SolidWorks. So on your lab sheet, uh, the instructions are here. So each one of you should create a basic drawing of a model attached in SolidWorks showing the front, front view, the top view and the right side view, as well as the isometric view. You need to complete the drawing with the correct dimensions and fill in the correct information given the title block of the drawing. So you will save your drawing at the end of your uh, exercise. Save it in a PDF file with the file name lab number six, your name and its city ID. So this is the given parts that uh, we need to create a drawing. So on the BBL or on the Blackboard, you're given uh, two files. One is the lab sheet and one is the SOLIDWORKS file. So what you need to do is to open this part, the SOLIDWORKS part given in SOLIDWORKS. So this is the uh, given on the lab sheet, so this part. So from this part, we will make a, a drawing. So two dimensional drawing. So from a 3D part, we will create a two-dimensional drawing that represents its dimension and uh, uh, completely with the title block and the border, okay? So from here, go to file. From a pull-down menu, and then select make drawing from part. Select make drawing from part. And this window will appear on your screen. And this uh, box, there is a tick mark. So you need to select this box. So put a tick mark on this or check mark to show only the standard format. So these are the paper size according to the standard format. So we have the A4 size, the A3 size, A2, A1, and A0. So the A4 size, paper, this is the common paper that uh, we are using. So the A3 size, it is double the A per size. So what is the dimension for uh, or the, uh, the width and the height for A4 size? So we have 210 by 297 millimeters. So as you will see here for the A3 size, the width is doubled, okay? The width is doubled, it becomes 420, and the height is 297. So this is how you will interpret the uh, standard format of the sheet. So A, A3, it is a double of A4 size. A2, this is a double of A3 size. A1, this is double size of A2 size. And A0 is the biggest, uh, uh, size of our sheet. So this double size of the A1 size. So for this exercise, we will choose A3. Choose A3 size paper and then select this. Okay. So from here, you have the A3 size paper. So from this paper size, we will create a front view, top view, right side view, as well as the isometric view. Now here on the right side panel, select uh, view palette, select this view palette, and select the views that you want. So drag views onto the drawing sheet. So first we will select the front view of our part, select this, then drag inside the paper, okay? Inside the paper, so choose your location. So for example, on this side, then drag your mouse upward to create the top view. Then point your mouse again on the front view, then drag your mouse to the right. It will create automatically the right side view. So go back again to the front view, then drag your mouse to an inclined position. Then you will see the isometric view. So 
So select this point as my isometric view. So you can change the uh, display style of each uh, views. So on the left panel, you will see here, you have the shaded with edges. You have shaded, you have hidden lines removed, hidden lines visible and wireframe. So for example, you want to choose the shaded with edges. So you will see it is shaded, okay? <clears throat> so once you are done, select the escape button and you have all these uh, three standard views as well as the isometric view. So for example, you want to change the display style of this one. So just select this, select the isometric and we can uh, create shaded with edges. So the isometric, isometric view, it is having a display style of shaded with edges. So only the isometric view. So once you are done, select this check mark to close the dialog box and put the dimensions that you need on each view. So here on the annotation toolbar, you will see the smart dimension. So from the annotation toolbar, select smart dimension. So for example, we want to put a dimension on this circle, select this circle, then drag it outward and click on the screen. Then select this green check mark to close the dialog box. Then again, smart dimension, select the inner circle, drag it outwards, click on the screen, then select this green check mark to close the dialog box. Then again, so let's just uh, zoom in this drawing, the front view. So again, smart dimension, select this line. So this will give you the thickness of this uh, drawing or part, the base part. So select on the screen, then select this green check mark to close the dialog box. So we have three dimensions now at the front view. So let's check another uh, view that we can put uh, some dimensions. So again, smart dimension, select this one, select this art, then drag it outward, click on the screen, then select this green check mark to close the dialog box. So this one, this arc, this is the uh, filleted portion. As you can see here in the isometric, we have 25 millimeters radius for this uh, fillet. So again, we need to make a dimension for this hole, the small hole on the isometric view. So smart dimension, select this part, this circle, okay? Select this circle, drag it outward, click on the screen, so we have 12 millimeters diameter for this hole. Select the screen check mark to close the dialog box. Then let's add one more dimension on the front view. Again, smart dimension, select this line, then drag it downward, click on the screen. So we have one millimeter uh, length for this side. Then again, click the screen check mark to close the dialog box. So let's find uh, some dimensions that uh, we can put in. So smart dimension. So let's say from this point up to the center of this circle. So from this point. let's say up to this line, okay? So this is the dimensions of the extruded boss of one of our circle. So click on the side, then click this green check mark. So we have 44 millimeters. So this 44 millimeters, this is the extruded boss of this part on the isometric. So you can add more dimensions uh, as you want here on the uh, other views. So let's put some dimensions on the right side view, so smart dimension. For example, this side. So click on the screen, then put the green check mark. So once you are done completing the dimensions that you want, 
on the drawing area. Now we are ready to change the borders. As you can see, we have here a double line border with a uh, zone indicated. So the zone uh, is indicated by letters and numbers. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are the uh, zone indicator. So if you want to change this border into a simple borderline, for example, a single line. So we need, we will remove this uh, zoning for this exercise. So how to do it? So just click on the screen, right click, edit sheet format, select edit sheet format. So the borderline will be highlighted in black and our title block is highlighted in blue. So the title block, it refers to the uh, lines and informations located at the uh, right bottom part of your drawing sheet. So this one, so this is the title block. So first we need to change the border lines of the sheet. So again, right click on the screen, then select automatic border, okay? Select automatic border. Now from, from the left panel here, from the left side, select this arrow. Select this arrow. So it indicates the next option. Select the next option. So as you can see in the zone size, you have here six rows and eight columns. So select evenly size. For this exercise, we will choose one row and one column. As you adjusting this uh, zone size, look at your screen, it will be adjusted. So now we have one row and one column. Then let's check another settings here. <clears throat> So from the zone label, so zone label means uh, this one is letter A and number one. So we can remove the show level on each corner. So as you can see, when you remove this tick mark here on the zone labels, letter A and number one is removed from the borders. And lastly, we have here the zone dividers. So the zone dividers, we have here uh, show zone dividers. So these are the small lines. So you can see here, you have small lines on each side. So if you remove this tick mark here, those lines will be removed. And we have a double line border. If you want to make it a single line, select this option. So remove this option, the double line border. So, so remove this tick mark, then you have this single line border. So what are the other settings available here? So for the margins, we need to put an equal distance between the sides. So you have 10 millimeters on the left, 10 millimeters on the right, 10 millimeters on top and on the bottom. So once you created this, press enter and you have it. So you have this simple border line. So for this exercise, just follow this border and go to your title block. So I'm zoom, zooming in this uh, title block. So from this title block, you will put the title of this exercise, your name, the name of your instructor, and the name, the name of your teacher. So on the portion here, it is drawn by, so put your name. Check by, so put my name, and approve by your teacher. So for example, uh, Dr. Lina or Dr. Gobin, so you can put their names here. And the date, wherein you are performing this lab. So from here, you can remove these lines, these vertical lines to give more space, okay? To give more space in putting uh, the names or the notes. So we call it notes. So first we will put the title of this experiment. So on the annotation toolbar here on top, you have the note, select this note icon then click on the title portion, so this box. So, but first you need to remove this leader on the left side. So no leader, select this, so that you can place your uh, uh, text on the positions that you want. Then click here, then you can type the title for this experiment. So you have creating, 
Let's check the title. Drawings from part in SolidWorks. Creating drawings from parts in SolidWorks. So you can change the font style. You can change the font size here. So let's say let's accept 13 for this uh, size of the font. Close this dialog box, then press the skip button, press the skip button. So if you want to place it on the middle, just select the text again, select the text. Point on any letters, then drag it inside the title block. So if you want to make it in two lines, just select the text, right click, edit text. So let's say from here, press enter, and it will give you the second line. So let's make it centered. All, all the text will be centered. Close the dialog box, click on the screen. So again, select your draw, select the text, one of the letters of the text, click and hold your left mouse button, then drag it inside the drawing area on the title portion. Okay. So drag it inside. So once you are done, select this green check mark to close the dialog box. So be sure when you're doing this exercise, all the text should be inside the box designated, okay? So here on top, we can write uh, the name of our college. So again, note, select note from the annotation toolbar, remove this leader, and you can place the text here. You can place the text here. So for example, uh, we will type higher college of technology. So you can change your uh, font, you can change the font size, the color of the text. So it depends on your design. So once you are done, close this dialog box, click on the screen, and press the escape button on the keyboard. Then you can select, hold, and drag this to move the text inside the designated box. So this portion is done. So let's go typing your name. So here, for example, uh, you want to type your name here. So again, an annotation toolbar, select this note option remove this leader and then put the box here inside the drone portion and then type your name. For example, it is drawn by Mariam. So completely type your name, okay? So you can change the font of this, font size, by highlighting all the letters. So let's make it eight, okay? Eight or seven. So seven, press enter, and close the dialog box. So you can click on the screen, then you have this name. So it means this drawing is drawn by Marianne. Then press the skip button on the keyboard, and we want to make this text into the middle of this square, okay, or rectangle. So how to make it centered? Select the text, right click, then snap to rectangle center. Stop, snap to rectangle center. Then select 
each side of the rectangle. So one, two, three, and four. So as you can see, it is automatically adjusted into the middle of this rectangle. So once you are done, select this green check mark. So here on this portion, you, know, you, you need to uh, write the name of your instructor. So again, note, remove this leader here. And let's say here, then type the name, okay? So for example, my name. So you can change the font size. So for example, seven, enter, and close this dialog box. Then click on the screen, press the escape button on the keyboard. So if you want to make it centered on this square or rectangle, so again, select this text, right click, snap to rectangle, select the sides of the rectangle. So one, two, three, and four. So it is automatically adjusted into the center. Then select this green check mark to close the dialog box. Then finally, you have here the approve section. So click a note again, remove this leader here on the left, then here. So for example, type here the name of your teacher, for example, Dr. Lina or Dr. Gobin, okay? So you can change the text into, for example, seven, press enter, close the dialog box, click on the screen, press the escape button, press the escape button. Now make it centered, so again, click on any letters of the text, right click, snap to rectangle, select this one, two, three, and four. So it is automatically adjusted into the center. Close this green check mark to close the dialog box. Press the escape button. So finally, we can put some dates here. Uh, at what date you drawn this uh, exercise? So note, select here. Then type the date. So for example, uh, 21 of February, 2021, okay? Select this, make it seven, seven, and close the dialog box. Click on the screen, press the skip button. So you want to make it centered, again, select this, right click, snap to rectangle, select this one, two, three, and four. So it is automatically centered. So select this green check mark, and that's it. So if you want to edit this one, you can just double click, and let's make it, for example, six, press enter, okay? Click on the screen and it's done, okay? So this simple exercise for this lab, so this title block should be neat, okay? So the name of your colleagues, the title of the experiment, the title of the lab, uh, the, uh, the lab number, and then your name, the name of your teacher, and then the date. So no text should be exceeding the lines. Okay, it should be neat. So once you are done, select this option here to close the drawing option. So once you select this to exit, then your drawing will be reflected on the screen. So once you're complete, you can save it. So go to File, Save As, on your name. 
And for example, you want to do a printing. So for this exercise, you will print it as PDF file. So select print. Select the name of the printer. So in this case, Adobe PDF. Select Adobe PDF and go to properties. So from the properties, Adobe PDF settings, select the paper, okay? Or the page size. So we're using an A3 size. So select an A3 size paper here and on the layout. So on the layout, it's very important. That you will select the landscape option. Select the landscape option, select okay, then okay. Then write the lab. So for example, lab number six. Then save. Okay. So as you can see, it is properly printed with border lines, your parts with the complete dimensions, the front view, the top view and the right side view, as well as the title block here. So this is the one that you're going to submit. So submit the drawing in PDF file, okay? So this ends the lab number six.